Capricorn, hello and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insights. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Uh, so, what's going on with you? Spirit, please tell me what's going on with Capricorn. What is the energy for Capricorn? What is the energy for Capricorn? Energy for Capricorn spirit. Ooh, 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 all three of them fell out. Bottom of the deck, the fool. Okay, could be dealing with the Aries, but I see you guys going after something new. And it's crazy. This dude just gave me chills a little bit. This is a bitch holding a card. A card of a bitch holding a card. Of a bitch holding a card. Holding a card of holding a card. So, this is not your first time around holding this card. This is not your first time around taking a new leap of faith. This is not your first time around having to start all over again and not give a fuck about the path. There is an ending here that happened with this tower, okay? And with this death card underneath the fool. There is an ultimate ending and I feel like it could have been with an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio, but it's done. It is time for you to move your ass on to calmer waters after this, okay? I feel like you and whoever it is that you went through this breakup with are going your separate ways. All right? Spirit, tell me about this, this tower card. Nine of Wands. You tried to hold this bitch up too. You still want this person. Yeah. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You still want this person bad. But this person has already dropped the ball, Capricorn. Or it could be vice versa. I feel like you're dealing with a player. You didn't know that though. This person hid it very well from you. With the Ten of Wands here, it's very heavy, but I feel like you are trying to push forward. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, you're single right now. Why is the Nine of Wands here? I mean, the Queen of Wands here, the devil. Shit. You may be kind of stuck on this person, this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. But with the Three of Pentacles, you're working on that. Queen of Wands, because you know you are a bad bitch too. The strength in reverse, but this person knows how to get to you. The Will of Fortune, and they will. They will. Yeah. I feel like there's also something new coming in for you. Could be another fire sign or somebody else that you're strongly attracted to. That may take your mind off of this person. Be careful not to move too fast. Why is the Prince of Cups here? You may have two offers too. Because now I have somebody here. It could be a Taurus or a Cancer Pisces a Scorpio. Somebody here is in love with you. And I feel like they're going to be coming in to make you some type of offer. I don't know if you want it though. Yeah. You kind of don't, the world card. This could have been the past person too. Or just somebody you're not interested in, but the temperance card here, you're weighing your options. You're doing what's best for you. Now, nobody else, you don't give a fuck how about nobody feels. It's about you, okay? And that's a great thing because Capricorns ha can have the tendencies of worrying about what everybody else or how everybody else feels. You know, you naturally are providers. And if you love them, you're going to take care of them. Oh my God, this living room, room is a mess. All right, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Bubble rat. All right, so let's see. What more do we have for Capricorn? What more do we have for Capricorn? What more do we have for Capricorn here, Spirit? Tell me more. What do we have for Capricorn? What more do we have for Capricorn? All right. We have the Empress, okay? They go a bad bitch for you when you see one. Know what when you see it as she in the house. Temperance, okay? One more. The Shrimp card with the Princess or Sword. Somebody's watching your every fucking move. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But I have the Empress here. This is your energy, bossing the fuck up, getting back to you, getting your strength back, okay? Tell me about this Empress. Tell me about this. Mm. 
Tell me about this empress. Tell me about this empress. Tell me about this empress. I feel like you're guarding yourself now. You're not really accepting any offers at this moment. And I feel like it's, it's as a form of you guarding yourself. People may be wanting to come in and, you know, parlay and talk to you. You're not, you don't have time for that shit right now. You're getting, you're focusing on yourself. Yeah, you're healing. Temperance with the star card, big healing. Ace of Pentacles, maybe focusing more on your money or your stability. Yeah, you may be feeling like you don't need to work on anything else right now. Absolutely, four swords, taking a break. Taking a break from other people and other situations to focus on you. All right, yeah, because your emotions are all over the place. And you feel like you're, you, you have been manipulated or played with a bit too much. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? You know that a relationship is coming. But you know that it's not time for you to go towards something new right now. Yeah. You're not trying to deal with shit. With the Empress in Reverse, you don't even feel like yourself yet. You're trying. You showed up as Empress here. But with the Empress in Reverse, you're not quite ready. Or you don't feel up enough to be in a whole long-term relationship with anybody. You're like, let me get to healing. Let me get back to myself. And then I'll call you back. Okay? <laughs> okay? I'll call you back. Okay? They're watching you. Whoever this person is that wants you, they, they're not going to give up, but they will give you your space. Okay, so spirit. Oh, 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 there were a lot of messages here too. Uh, oh, what's going on? Why are my cards flippity floppity? All right, spirit, so tell me, what advice do we have for Capricorn? Advice for Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, we have the high priestess. Don't talk to anybody. Don't look at anybody. Don't speak to anybody. Look at this. The, the Empress is here again. You need to worry about you and how you can get back to you, okay? Don't worry about nobody else. You don't have space for that in your brain. With this two of swords here, this is a lot about you trying to figure out what's next. For me, not for you, not for them, not for us, for you, okay? Yeah, and you need to stay in hermit mode until you do that. Because I do see you going really back and forth with what you do next and what's your best move. And I feel like your best move right now is to never to get into a relationship until you're ready. Period. Never. Don't do it. If you feel like something is off or something ain't right, cut it the fuck off. In due time, I feel like there's something that's going to come around for you. It could be something coming back. could be a cancer. But right now, you don't need that. You don't need none of that energy, okay? Let's get one card from the Rebel deck. Well, Spirit said not that one. I don't like that card anyway. But you need to work work on your dieting. Okay, step away from it for a second. Some of y'all are dieting too hard. It says whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. All right? Thank you.